I don't walk around wearing like steaks stapled to my ass cheek. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today, and I hope that you're ready for a little purchase or pass, a little discussions on new makeup if you will, because these are some of my favorite videos to film and I only film them, you know, maybe once a month or so just because, you know, I don't, I don't ever want to overwhelm you with them. But truth be told, I love these videos for so many reasons. You know, number one, we get to talk about makeup, what's new, what's up and coming, what's happening in the makeup world. Uh, but also number two, you never really know which page you're going to get. You know, sometimes she loves a product. She's happy. She's joyful. She's just a sweetheart. And then some of the time she's just a sassy little wench and you don't know how she's going to feel about a product. That's really why we're here just to you know have a discussion talk about new makeup whether I like it whether I don't like it and uh, of course for you guys down in the comments to leave me your thoughts on uh, the products I talk about other products that you happen to see just give me all of your thoughts and opinions feedback whether it's on what's being launched the video do you still like these videos all the good things leave it down in the comments along those same lines I mean while we're here we're talking about it hello if you are new and you haven't subscribed yet please be sure to do that before you leave welcome to the channel um, I put up three new videos typically you know it's been, it's been a little hit or miss lately with everything that's happening in life but for the most part I put up three new videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday they go up around 7 a.m. my time here in the good old northern Michigan the northern MI uh, I'm a big big northern Michigan girl love it here but we also have tractors and cows and lots of noise so stick with me subscribe it's always an adventure also by the way speaking of adventures I mean queen of segways over here hello um, if you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram as well you should do that Instagram and Twitter they will both be linked down below I'm way more active over on Instagram I love hanging out with you guys in the day-to-day -day in my Insta stories, talking about anything, you know, whether it's eating frosting, talking about my dogs, my cats, it's just, there, there's always something happening there. And I also like to put up little IGTV videos of me getting ready, hang out with you guys that way as well. So there's just a whole nother form of content over on Instagram. If you haven't checked me out there, do that as well. And also, you know, really quickly, and then, and then I promise at some point we will get into the actual video. Um, if you're looking at my face and you're like, damn, what's she wearing? I like that. What's going on? Ooh, is, have, I, have I seen this. Well, I will go ahead and link for you. If you have not, you should check it out right up here. I tested out a bunch of products from Danessa Myrick's Beauty. I go through all of it in that video. The products I tested out foundation, concealer, powder, um, eye glitters, a beautiful highlight palette. Just there, there's so much amazingness happening right here. Uh, so definitely go check that out. Let me know your thoughts and opinions over on that video. And now without any further ado, let's get into today's video. All right. So you know what, guys, we're just going to bust in. We're just going <laughs> to, we're going to really take this one by the horns and we're gonna kick it off with a little urban decay because I have had so many questions and I've seen so many thoughts and uh, let's just let's just talk about it let's have an open discussion shall we so this is the naked ultraviolet palette it is of course in their same urban decay naked um, format how they do those palettes and I have heard okay so, so far this is what I've heard dear god why another naked palette wow it's supposed to be purple why is half of it not purple what is this? Oh, it's really cute. Oh my God. I love that color scheme. It's so great. Guys, what is the consensus here? <laughs> like I cannot tell what people like about this and what they don't, because I feel like every time I turn around, I either get people that hate it for all different reasons, people that love it, but none of them can agree why. And I'm just, <laughs> it's so confusing to me because I look at this and again, these are just my thoughts, opinions. Um, I look at this and I was actually kind of liking it like for a hot second, like uh, enough that I did. I'll give you a spoiler. I did pick this up on the Urban Decay website when it launched. The reason that I picked it up, okay, I, I might have accumulated a little like Urban Decay kick up points or whatever those things are called. So I might have gotten the palette, you know, for like 20 bucks or something off of their website. So did that influence my purchase? you know, maybe a freckle. I was pretty excited about it myself. Um, but even, you know, without those, it's a 49, I believe it's a $49 palette, right? I think that's pretty much standard for them. 42, 49, right in that realm. And, um, for me, okay. These, these are kind of my thoughts. I like the aspect of this that is easier for everyday wear. I like the fact that, you know, it has like this blend of what looks to be lighter, more fun, kind of poppy purples and poppy pinks paired with neutrals. I think that that'll make it easier um, as kind of a go-to palette versus something that's a little bit more intimidating. And I don't know if I'm the only one that felt this way, but like I saw the outside, like they teased the outer packaging and I was like, oh wow, we're going to have purple. We're going to have all kinds of sexy looking purples, pinks. It's going to be a whole moment. And then I looked in the inside and I was like, what the hell? And I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way, but like, I'm so on the fence about this one that I can't even, <laughs> like, it's kind of messing with me. So leave me your thoughts and opinions down below. I I'm, 
is, I'm a little, I'm a little bit here. Like I'm, well, I'm not a little bit here. I'm a lot of bit here. And what really makes me tentative, like my closing thought is that I feel like in the Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette, it almost feels like I would use the neutral end <laughs> more than I would use the purple end. And that's saying something. Cause I feel like if that's the case, maybe you missed the mark a little again, just, just some preemptive thoughts. We'll know soon, as soon as my palette gets here. Um, but until then, oh boy, this is, this is going to be a fun ride. Oh, here's a good one. Let's just talk about this. Let's just dive right in. Okay. While we're there, while she's feeling some kind of sassy, let's just talk about it. Okay. NYX, they came out with their ultimate utopia palette. I'm going to be dead honest with you guys. I love this palette. I think the color story is beautiful. I like the arrangement. I like the whole vibe that I get from it. It has like this really beautiful, like Easter egg green moment, then a light pink moment, then this cute little periwinkle blue thing going on up in the corner. Like I dig this palette. Okay. But you know what I don't dig? You know what I can't stand? You know what I don't dig? Did that, is that, is that English? I don't know. It doesn't matter. You know what I can't stand. Okay. I ordered this when it launched the same day I saw it. It launched on June 8th, ordered it the same day. Still don't even have tracking information. Nix, where the hell you at? Okay. I want to know where my palette is. I would just like to know, do you plan on putting it in the mail anytime soon or just ignoring it altogether? Like where is my palette? <laughs> Cause I would love to play with it. I'd love to track it. I'd love to watch the little, the little mail truck on, on the screen there. Just move like even a little bit, just so I know it's at least coming close to me by the day, by the year, by the month, hour, whatever. I just love to know where it is. So, you know, that's just me to you guys. I like the palette. It looks great. And someday I plan to use it for you if I ever get my hands on it. So, uh, hey, Nix, hook a girl up. Thanks. Ho, ho, ho. Can we talk about, okay, well, that, that was a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, also, no, I'm not. Uh, but from JD Glow Cosmetics, I know everyone has touched on these at one point or another, but they came out with their liquid multi-chrome, uh, liquid highlights, liquid multi, liquid multi-chromes. Let's just call them that. Oh my God. Okay. These things are so gorgeous. They also sold out like that. And so I've never tried anything from JD Glow. Like I've never been able to get my hands on what I wanted, but I want you guys to know here and now, right here, right now, Kmart, as soon as I can get, <laughs> I can't believe I said that, as soon as I can get my hands on these little, on any of them, like I, I have my eye on a couple ones, like the purple one, the pink one, maybe even that gold one looking real sexy at me. Um, as soon as I can get my hands on a few of these, I plan on using them. I plan on just slathering them all over my face because I think they are so beautiful and I don't have enough multi-chromes, multi-dual chrome, whatever they're called. I don't have enough of those in my collection because, you know, arguably I'm a little bit of a basic bitch, like not arguably, I am a basic bitch. Who are we kidding? I really feel like these would be a great way, a great option, a great addition, if you will, to my repertoire of uh, basic bitchness to really, you know, just bring out that inner flavor, that inner, that inner spice. So I'm on board for these. I plan to check them out. They are gorgeous. Yes, please. More, 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 more. Thank you. Oh, I'm just zipping through it today, aren't I? I just, I got everything. I know what's going on. I got products. I'm talking. I got it going on. I got it going on. So not makeup related at all, but we're still going to talk about it uh, just because I love nail stuff. The uh, new thing from Lights Lacquer, Kathleen Lights brand, she launched her base coat and her top coat. Oh, yes, please. I am so excited. Y'all know I love her. I love her nail stuff. I was with her through KL Polish. I am with her in Lights Lacquer. I think I've picked up every single launch. These are no exception. They are currently shipping and on their way to me. Yes, please. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Just had to throw it out there. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited. And also, while we're on the topic, she just launched launched her summer collection. Oh, take me and die. Just like send me to a whole nother world. You guys, I can't stand it. These are so beautiful. So bright. There is a bright lime green, which lime green is only the best color. Sorry. There's also like this, this corally kind of like pinky orange color. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Bright yellow, bright blue, deep red, beautiful, spunky purple. Oh my God. Yes. I'm so excited. Kathleen lights, honey, I'm coming for lights lacquer. I'm coming for you. I am waiting. It launches on June 25th. I am here for it. I will be there. Bells on me ready to purchase. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, let's talk about it. Natasha Denona, bronze collection. There is a eyeshadow palette, a face palette, and three glosses. And honey, I am here for it, okay? I am here for it on a spiritual level. I feel like this palette was made <laughs> with me in mind, okay? The shimmers are oh so shimmery and beautiful and gorgeous looking. The mattes look amazing. The whole color scheme is just like shimmery. <sighs> and y'all know I love a good, what was it? What was that? A basic bitch moment? Yes, please. On a serious note, I really 
really do like the color story. I feel like it has the perfect amount of a little bit of neutral as far as the matte goes, but it also has some really beautiful caramely tones for the mattes as well that I really like. And it really does seem like all the colors pair really well together. And they even got like that little slide, you know, pop of blue in there. So it's kind of aesthetically like that has that extra notch for pleasing for the eyes. And then even as far as the face palette and the glosses go, um, I am going to check them out. I only picked up one of the glosses. I picked up the deepest shade because I think that it looked beautiful. It was my favorite of all of them. So I picked up those. I'm very excited. And just so you guys know, it's coming your way. Get ready, honey, because Denona is here. Denona is here. We love talking about the Denona. So beautiful. So beautiful. All right, so you know what? I'm just going to go there. I'm just going to say it, y'all. This whole Morphe, what is this? Morphe and Coca-Cola collab. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> like, why? Who asked for this? That's my number one question here. Who asked for this? Because I get that you're going for, like, the nostalgia. You know, ooh, we're going to put... It looks like we're going to put... Uh sponges in a coca-cola can and like you know get that whole vibe going i get that we're gonna have little coca-cola glosses and coca-cola brushes i just why like to me nothing about this says like undoubtedly coca-cola and in even the palette like the eyeshadow palette i'm just bored okay like i'm bored i think the branding is cute i think the packaging is cute but as far as the actual makeup itself goes like i just like truly i, I just i couldn't i don't think i i honestly don't think i could care less about this that could just be a me thing it could just be like you know Paige is a, is a sassy little b word that, <laughs> that doesn't partake in coca-cola okay even though unless it's diet coke okay then we then we talk about it but for this, I just, I'm not feeling it. Like, I, I think the highlight, what is that, Bubbly Babe, is like a bright highlight. I think that could be pretty. But I think it has way too much glitter and chunk and fallout to it for me to care. Like, the entire collection just, it doesn't work for me. And then on the back side of it, anybody else ever wonder, like, how much did that cost you, Morphe? Like, to, to get to use that much Coca-Cola branding? Ooh! Honey child, I can only imagine how expensive that was. Just saying, I mean, I, I know it shouldn't have anything to do with anything, but like, damn, okay? Coca-Cola is an expensive ass brand. Wow. Wow. All right, so next up, let's just talk about it really quickly here. This is the Lady Gaga House Labs, and I know I'm going back a little ways, but it's because, the, like, these are ones that I've actually gotten questions on in the last month, and this palette for me, like, if you want my opinion, it says nothing to me, okay? Like, there is not one part of this that I'm like, ooh, fun, wearable. He it's just, it's not my personal vibe, um, so I, I would never pick it up. I'm not a big fan, no thank you, but the one thing I do want to say, and this is the only part of it that kind of bummed me out, I wish that this had been the palette because to my knowledge Lady Gaga launched another palette before she launched this one I don't remember what it was called but it was like all neutral shades and I wish more than anything that this had been the palette that she had launched with the the neutral one for me like I personally was kind of like oh you know it's neutral it's not that bad which automatically tells me it's not very Gaga because Gaga and I like we don't share the same fashion sense okay I don't walk around wearing like steaks stapled to my ass cheek or whatever the hell she did there at that one performance show I don't wear chandeliers on the side of my face. It's just <laughs> I'm not like the most Gaga-esque character. I don't know if you've noticed. I'm just a very basic Northern Michigan 30-year-old lady, okay? And I say the term lady lightly right now because I'm swearing like a sailor, okay? Let's just let's just be real. But for me, the overall whole Gaga situation, not my favorite. Move past it, you know, don't really care, whatever. Another one that I got asked a lot, a lot of questions on, oh my God, um, the Divine Rose palette from Pat McGrath. And I just wanna say, like, I didn't have anything against this palette. Uh, like, well, <laughs> that's not true. I didn't have anything about against it, like, specifically, all right? For me, this palette was just a little bit, like, Ugh, like it just wasn't quite enough and I say that because and I feel like it, it's it, this is like the new way of doing the pop of blue right they, they give you this beautiful look and they're like oh my god Pat McGrath packaging which is stunning by the way Pat McGrath packaging and quality on point like I would never I'd never diss Mama McGrath like that okay they are amazing through and through but my issue is that this like one beautiful sexy ass duo chrome shade right there I don't know what it's called but my god it is the one reason it's it's the it's the purpose behind the, the whole palette. Like, it's what draws you to it, okay? I feel like this is the new version of the pop of blue. Like, if you, the old theory was, in a palette that had that pop of blue or that pop of brightness to it, if you covered up that one color, would it look like a palette you already have? Well, for me, if I cover up that one shade and I look at this, I'm like, well, damn, that looks pretty similar to other palettes I have from Pat McGrath. It looks similar to, you know, other, other things that I have with that vibe. So, for me, this palette is just a big no because I, I just, I'm not personally like tied to it uh but i just want to throw that out there duochromes with the new pop of blue quote me on that 
you can quote me on that. All right, guys, so really quickly, just, you know, have to put it out there. If the uh, the framing on my camera changed at all, well, <laughs> wouldn't you just know it? My SD card for the second time today messed up. So hopefully I have all of my footage intact. We won't know until later. Um, but just, you know, if the room looks a little different, if it's, if I don't know, if anything's just changed, that's why I just, you know, throwing it out there. All right, so next up, we're gonna talk about the newest one or one of the newer launches from Huda Beauty. This is the Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist, a milky spray infused with coconut oil, coconut milk, and coconut water coconut is the theme that instantly hydrates while it primes sets and refreshes your makeup for a super glowy and dewy finish and here's what i want to know all right and just you know a little show of hands down in the comments y'all can let me know just like hey me <laughs> me too um but am i the only one that has a hard time trusting huda with a spray after how dirty she did us with that boss babe shit you guys <laughs> <laughs> that spray was so bad. I probably still have it somewhere. Like, oh my, actually, you know what? No, I think I decluttered it. It was like one of the items that I just, I couldn't even bear it getting back into my collection because it is so bad. The smell is atrocious. Like it depletes the room of oxygen, okay? It smells so bad. It sucks all of it out. There's just every, every O2 particle in here is gone and replaced with boss babe stench or what? Again, I don't even know if that's what it's called, but it is so bad. <laughs> Like, I can't stand that spray. So now I'm looking at this spray and I'm like, oh wow, like what a good idea, I'm on board. But am I? Can I actually trust it like in my heart and soul? Ooh, I don't know, like it's, it's a little bit sketchy for me. So I'm a little uncertain, you guys can tell me down below. I don't know when is it, it doesn't say when it's gonna launch, so you know, <laughs> peace be to journey if you try it because I don't, I don't know if I can. I'm, I'm a very apprehensive woman when it comes to a Huda spray now because I'm just like, you know, if you thought that that first one was a good decision, honey bunches i don't know i tell you when a, when a product suffocates you like at what point at what point did that go through research and development and nobody could breathe but they all were just like yeah it's fine <laughs> pass it along like who thought that was a good call i don't know that's all i'm gonna say i just i, I can't i can't get past it i'm i'm still a little bit bitter about it because obviously i don't get pr i spent my own money on it and basically that translates to i spent my own money to get suffocated <laughs> and i'm not i'm not really on board for that that's like not how i get down in my life so you know just <laughs> no thanks all right, so here's a good one that kind of took me a little bit by surprise, if I'm being honest. This is the Kylie Cosmetics and Kendall Jenner collab. You know, of course, they're sisters. They got together. All the packaging is super cute. It's very much so like, oh, hold me, kiss me, love me. Uh, uh, uh. By the way, nobody does that with their sister. I don't want, well, you know what? I'm not going to say nobody, but like, I don't. My friends, like, they have sisters. I don't see them do it either. Um, so maybe this is just like a Jenner thing. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But just throwing that out there, like, if you're looking at these and you're thinking like, oh, like, maybe I should be like just like with my sister no <laughs> like people don't do that I, at least not that i think i don't again could be wrong maybe like my siblings and i just aren't like that close which I'm grateful for. I feel like like we should never be so close that I can see up your nose, but that's just, that's just my opinion. Anyways, story aside here, um, packaging is very, you know, e of them, which is whatever, That that's how you are, that's just how you get down, that's cool. But it says here in the lineup that it has a lip blush and lip liner in Sister Sister. It has blotting powder, everything, everywhere gloss. It has a hashtag E palette, whatever that means. Three face sticks, which is a blush, a bronzer, and a spotlight highlighter. And it looks like, note, more shades of bronzer, blushes, and highlighters will drop a week after the launch. And then a high gloss as well. And I guess the gloss color is like Kendall's everyday perfect model nude or something. Um, because for those of you that don't know, Kendall is like a highly accredited model. She's super talented. And honestly, just looking through like what I've seen of her, whether it's magazine, her lookbook, all of that, um, from like an artist standpoint she is a fantastic model she's very good so I would never I'm not like making fun of that she is very very talented here's my thing you know getting back to it my, my thought process with this collection I'm actually more impressed like there are there's more to this that I actually really really like than I thought I would the bronzer blush and highlight sticks I think those are gorgeous I they look like the color and the consistency are right up my alley I would totally try those I think the lip combo is beautiful I think the like the blotting uh, powder that would be a cool one to test out. But then it got to the eyeshadow palette. And at first, you know, me being like a judgmental little shit, I was kind of like, mm, like, mm, no. But then the more that I look at it, which by the way, the <laughs> 
cover of it, the two of them, and they're just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry, but what? Uh, <laughs> but that's just me. Again, you're literally looking up her nose. I don't understand, like, whatever happened to just like, hey, what's up, sis? Hey, what happened to like those kind of photos? Like, is this, is this the direction of the world and I missed it? Is this like a Northern Michigan thing, how we get all the trends like five years after they're a thing? Is that what this is? Like in five years, my sister's gonna come up to me and be like, oh, was that? No? Okay, <laughs> I hope not. For the record, if you're watching this sister, please don't. I'd be so creeped, I'd be so creeped out. I'd be like, get the hell out of here. Why Why am I looking up your nose? I don't wanna look up your nose. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> sorry. So let's talk about this eyeshadow palette. At first I was like, ugh, like it's not my thing. I don't like it. The story is a little bit all over. But then the more that I looked at it, you guys, the weirdest thing happened, I actually like it. <laughs> like I, I, it's almost, I looked at it so long and I stared at it I looked it right in its eyes, like Medusa. That <laughs> now I like it, and I'm like, I'm in a trance by these colors. There's like a, a lime green shimmer in there that looks absolutely beautiful. It's like a like a citrine kind of shimmer, beautiful. It has a lime green matte, a beautiful, beautiful matte purple, a nice poppy orange, a bright yellow, well, a somewhat bright yellow. It has these beautiful like neutrals at the other end that I think would be really great. All of the story. Now that I've looked at it and I've kind of felt my way through it, y'all, this is like a collection that I can damn near get behind. Like <laughs> I really, really like it. Um, um, the collection itself launches on June 26th, and I have no doubt in my mind, okay, like zero doubt that this will sell out like that because I think one of the reasons that I like it, especially, I, I feel like this is one of the first times from Kylie Cosmetics that we're really seeing like a, a very, I don't want to say ever because that's not fair, but this to me at least is one of the most well-rounded launches where I feel like it's addressing multiple things. Like you have complexion, you have glowy aspects, you have lips, you have eyes, you just, and you, hell, even down to like that blotting paper, or blot, blotting paper, the blotting powder and like that, that neutralizing aspect for complexion. I just, I feel like the entire the entire aesthetic overall is very nice it's very on brand for you know a kylie kendall collab i think that the um the, the the overall aspect of it is just very appealing and with that beautiful people we are officially at the end of the video please be sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comments whether it is on the makeup we talked about other new makeup i didn't talk about or just this video in general if you still like these if this is still your thing you find them funny all the thoughts and opinions leave them down in the comments and also just like i said in the beginning of the video don't forget Get. Everything will be linked down below for Instagram, Twitter, or to subscribe if you'd like to do that. Just, you know, hit the little subscribe button, like right where it says, you know, subscribe. Hit that button, turn on your bell so you are notified. Turn on the bell, your bell, the bell, whatever. There's a bell. Hit that bell so you're notified when I upload. And you guys, that is everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I almost just choked to death on water of all things to take me out. A water. Ugh. It launches on June. June. G, 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 G. It launches on. Okay. Wow. Okay. This I'm actually very, very excited. Sorry. I've got to like rearrange. All my legs are. All my legs are going numb. All two <laughs> of my legs are going numb. Wow, Paige. Where'd my pillow go? Hello. Excuse me. I'm so rude. I need back support. I'm 90. Okay, I'm 30, but I feel 90. Let's be real here. Don't fall. Damn it. I knew you were going to do that. Don't fall.